Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a haul and I'm sorry if you notice these little like red marks on my nose. I have to wear my glasses um, for I think a few more weeks um, just because my eye went insane. And so yeah, I apologize if there's like red marks on my face or if I like look somewhere funny. Um, I can't really see the camera, sad as that is. I'm pretty blind. So there's going to be three things from Sephora and three things from like Walmart or the drugstore. We'll start with the drugstore and that is the Tresemme Fresh Start Volumizing Dry Shampoo and um, I actually used some of this today just because um, I didn't I forgot to bring gel and I slept in braids I don't know if you can really tell but my hair is a little more volumized I didn't notice a huge difference with this um, it did help a little bit um, but I did notice that it did have a little bit of a white tint now when you started like messing like you know working it in it was fine but it did I did see a white tint so if you have really dark hair I probably wouldn't recommend this um, as long as or if you're not willing to kind of work with it and make sure that it works um, but yeah I mean for me it's fine because my hair is getting lighter my goal is to get it blonde um, as you'll see in the next two products but um, yeah so this will be good when it's actually back to its normal color um, versus right now when it's not in its natural color so um, I overall I really like this. I mean my hair wasn't super greasy so I didn't wasn't able to notice a huge difference but I really do like this. The next two products go together and they're the John Frieda Go Blonder Shampoo and Conditioner. Just looks like this. If you remember from a couple months ago I did have the spray my hair was darker and I was trying to lighten it gradually but um, these are really for all blondes and not for um, brunettes. Um, there's a one that's just for blondes and this is actually go blonder so it's trying to make your hair blonder and since i want my natural color back i was going to see if these make my hair blonder and i've kind of noticed a difference um between that and then the heat or the lightning spray that i showed in my april favorites which i can link down below then i went to sephora because my birthday was april 23rd which i don't know when um you're gonna see this but um it is now Mar may 1st it's may day today we in to get my Sephora birthday thing and I decided I didn't want to just go up there and get my free thing. I decided to buy something and because my town, I know I've told you, I don't know how many times you've heard me, my town doesn't have a Sephora, my school town does not, and my hometown when I moved up to my school town got one. Um, and they actually got an Ulta around the same time. So that's really exciting and um, so yeah, I was able, I've never been in Sephora before so it was really exciting to go. I'll first show you the birthday thing I got. It is the Fresh Sugar Kisses Mini Lip Duo. So it just looks like this. And then these are the lip ones. And this first one is in Sugar Rose. So it's just a tinted one. So as you can tell, it's a little bit tinted. And you can make it more tinted. It's more of a peach than this bright red. But it's so moisturizing. It reminds me of the Neutrogena Kiss of Moisture or Kiss of Flavor. Um, but these obviously are a lot more expensive. But I do really like them and I do find them really moisturizing. The other one is the Sugar Lip Treatment. And it's just this um, regular chapstick. It's just clear. Um, you can't really see it. It's just clear. And this actually has SPF... 15 in it. I don't know if I'd ever buy these to be honest with you um, just because they're so expensive normally but um, they are really moisturizing. I keep the Nivea Kiss of Flavor in my pencil case and this is my pencil case. I love it. I um, just thought I would share it with you. I've had it for a few years. Um, but yes, this is the Nivea Kiss of Flavor and this is in strawberry but all of them are very similar and it again has this bright red um, and I'll just put it right next to it. So as you can see, this one has a little bit darker of a payoff um, than the other one. The other one has more of a peachy pink. This is more of a peachy red. Um, but they're very similar. I find them both very moisturizing on the lips. But I think I'm going to stick with these because these are a lot cheaper. So when I was at Sephora, I decided to get something. I didn't want to spend a whole lot... Um, and I didn't have my list that I always have with me, but I wanted to try something. So I decided to get the Full Glam Ahead Benefit like little kit just to try these out because I've never tried any of these. And it has High Beam, Bad Gal Lash, and Stay Don't Stray in here. This little minis. 
and I'll just show you what these look like. I have not used any of these. So this is the high beam. So it's just a little one, um, just so that I can try because I don't, I've never tried any of these products. And then Stay Don't Stray is a, just a primer for either eyeshadows or concealers. And it just looks like this. And this is to highlight your face, by the way. And then this one is Bad Gal Lash, which obviously it's a mascara. And I've heard so many good things about this. I'm really excited to try all three of these items and maybe purchase a full size of one of them if I like them. And this little thing was $12, so not bad at all um, for all three of those items. And just to be able to try them out. I love little trial sizes uh, because I feel like I don't use... Um, most in most cases um, it's hard to hit pan or be done with the products. So I really like these little sample ones because then you can try all kinds of different products um, and yeah so that's that and then they gave me a sample and then is the Kors pomegranate mattifying treatment and so it just looks like this it's just a little container I haven't used this yet um, I will let you know when I do use it um, what I feel about it um, so yeah, that was the little sample they gave me. That is about it. That's my haul. I know it was kind of long for just six products, but um, yeah. So I will talk to you guys later and hope you have a great day. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. Bye!